And okay, so I can see my hello world. This is build the rectangle processing. If we press green, uh, it changes color green. Label get changed to color green. And inside the console, we have green button pressed. If we press it again, inside the console, we have new line green button pressed. So uh, console log is great for debugging. Okay, let's get back to simulator. If we decide to rotate the phone, as we can see, our, our rectangle is not that high anymore. And we should definitely uh, move text object a little bit higher and we don't see button. So we should push button a little bit higher. So let's do this with the application, close the simulator. Now we go to designer. Let's first set the parent of the text object. Let's set its layout. We will move a margin from the top to 10 pixels. And afterwards, we will choose green button and set its bottom anchor to parent main page and set it to margin 10 pixels from the bottom. Okay, so it's here on the bottom. And we will click on rectangle and set margin from the bottom. Not parent, but button green and margin, I don't know, 20, not minus 20, but 20. Oh no, this one should stay parent, but bottom anchor should be button green 20 okay parent 20 okay and let's add top anchor for the rectangle parent we will select text one and let's say 20 okay switch back to edit mode build save all changes, wait for the build to complete, and run. Okay, so let's try to rotate. Yes, as we can see, everything is working fine, except the green button that's not positioned on the center because we haven't anchored its position to the center. So let's get back to it. So back in designer mode, so we click green button and let's set horizontal target to the parent and that's it get back to the edit mode build mode. save change we can also clear run and now when we rotate the screen we can see that green button is in the middle rectangle is resized and our text object or text element is 10 pixels away from status bar and when we hit green here it says color green and everything works like it should when we wrote it back, the whole view gets rearranged. So this is okay. We will just add two more buttons and we are over with the project. We can clear our application output by hitting this little icon that says clear. We can just close and close this. Okay, so as I said, firstly, we will change text of the text object. So it says color yellow, uh, color can, uh... yellow. Clear. And now we can copy button element two more times. Firstly, it will be color red. It will say red. It will be red. It will say red button press. And what do we have Let's here? Say... Anchors button. Red. We won't say yeah, parent bottom. Okay, but horizontal It'll center. We won't have horizontal center. We will change that uh, in designer. Will... This will be button blue. Change its ID. Change the button text or label on the button to blue. And we will also change color blue. This is text for the text label and text for the console log. Of course, blue and the color property itself.
Okay, so let's go to the designer mode for one final time where we will set the anchors. Okay, this button blue, button bottom anchor will stay the same and blue will be, we will set left anchor for the blue, left anchor it will not be according to the parent but according to the button green we will set it to 20 pixels plus 20 pixels and finally uh, the red button we will set the right anchor it will be also 20 pixels not from the parent but from the button green that is in the middle so it will be 20 pixels Okay, so the buttons are evenly aligned and I think we are over for today. File, save all, just hit run. As you can see, the simulator is starting up, 20 pixels. Okay, instead of colon, I have put semicolon, but that's just a spelling mistake. We have a rectangle, uh, when we choose red, it's red, when we choose blue, it's blue, when we choose green, it's green. We have console logs, red, blue, green, and if we change orientation, we can see that everything is aligned. Red button is aligned 20 pixels from the green button, and blue button is also spaced 20 pixels from the green button, so everything looks nice. Uh, the height is adjust adjusted to the parent height, and everything basically looks nice the text updates um, also uh, if you don't see uh, this part of simulator you can turn off everything so the first icon is model you can here choose model of the phone you can even choose e6 see how it looks on e6 and and blue button is also spaced 20 you can zoom in zoom out and you can choose different orientations okay not for e6 but for other phones so the beauty of this QML graphic user layout is that it doesn't matter on the resolution of the screen. All the elements are positioned according to other elements. So the buttons are positioned to the bottom of the, their parent object and their parent object is page. As you can see, uh, the page goes from the status bar all the way to the tools bar. And toolbar height is not inside the page. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe or like the video. By doing this, you are giving me feedback on my videos and I will make more of them. If you don't like them, write me a comment saying which part you don't like and why. I will try to make videos better. Next video is coming soon. Subscribe and make sure you don't miss it. It doesn't matter on the resolution of the screen. Uh, all the elements are positioned according to other elements. So the buttons are positioned to the bottom of the their parent object and their parent object is page. As you can see uh, the page goes uh, from the status bar all the way to the tools bar. Uh, and toolbar is not Tool toolbar height is not uh, inside the the page.